How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Expert Thorium Mod Let's Play. Massive thanks for the continued support for this series guys, well over a thousand likes on the last video. You are incredible, keep up the great work. Also thanks to people who are voting for our next series, almost 4,000 votes already. Make sure you get in and make your choice for what our next series will be. Guys, we are in hard mode now, which means there is so much stuff to unlock. I was checking out the Thorium page and I had to make a little map of what we're going to do in what order. So there is a ton of stuff happening today. Two new armor sets, we're fighting the Beholder boss, and oh, new ores, it's going to be incredible. There's going to be weapons for days, people. I am so pumped to get started today. So enough talk, let's get straight into the action. Let's get started. Here we are in our underground crimson area, and there's a wizard. Yay! <laughs> that was cool. Uh, oh, please don't get me icor. Icor, guys. Alright, let's get a spell tome so I can make a um, golden shower. And that might do for now. Uh, oh, fairy bell, yeah, why not? Um, so what we're actually in the process of doing is collecting some souls of night and some icor, uh, because we need both uh, to upgrade our uh, armor. Um, there's two sets I'm trying to get, the Titan Armor and the Flesh Armor. And both of them require a considerable number of souls. So I'm just in the process at the moment of farming it up. Our last stop before making the new armor ready to fight the Fallen Beholder is just to get a Mithril Anvil. So we're going to have to smash up a few Demon Altars. Uh, so a Crimson Altar. Uh, Palladium, Mithril. Uh, we'll probably have to do maybe a few more. I like to do two of each altar at least. And that way you get plenty of ore in your world. So yeah, uh, also uh, we, fought, we fought a few Mimics. So I got a Daedalus Stormbow. Uh, which is very nice, it'll help out with Destroyer, of course. Um, and we also found a few life fruits on our journey, so we're not quite max health still, but we're on the way, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that's going pretty good. So I'm just going to scoot ahead, guys. I'm pretty much just grabbing the ore, and then, uh, yeah, we'll do some crafting, and then fight this Beholder. I can't wait, it's going to be amazing. It is time. It is time to start crafting some of this new powerful stuff, guys. And it all begins with a Mithril anvil and I appear to be running out of room here so let's maybe put on a little platform yeah that should work all right next we need icor tissue samples um, and it's souls of night here we go here we go where is it where is the flesh there it is all right lovely so let's make a bunch of this stuff uh, there we go 87 oh we got a tendon hook from a crimson mimic uh, which is a nice little upgrade as well all right, let's check out this new stuff. Whoa! -ho -ho! Okay, so flesh masks symbiotically attached to your body. Ooh, it's like venom from uh, Spider-Man. All right, ooh, that's gross. <laughs> uh, wow, flesh mace. Look at all this cool stuff. Wow. Okay, where's the uh, torso? The flesh body. Okay, we've got the whole armor. Let's put it on. Armor-wise, it's stronger by ten points. And attacks will bleed target. Consecutive attacks might drop life. And buff, giving flesh. Cool. And it gives lots of damage boost as well. 
And uh, let's see, is there any other cool stuff we can make? Flesh pick, 185% power? What? That's massive! <laughs> oh, and the damage, wow! Okay, well, we'll try it out and see if it's better than our palladium pick. Uh, that's kind of nice. And generally, these other weapons are normally just variations of normal stuff, so not too, not too concerned. Yeah, nah, we've got better stuff than that. Although, nice damage. Alright. Oh, we also need to make the Void Lens. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Where's Void Lens? There it is. Alright, let's make two of them. Uh, actually, oh, they're so cheap. Let's make four. Um, I think this boss has a ton of drops. So what we need to do now, guys, you summon it in the Underworld. So we'll make our way down, we'll make an arena, and then we'll fight our boss. And doesn't Marcus look beautiful with his flesh armor? <laughs> It's Beholder time, people. Let's make our way into the arena. And all I've done is sort of uh, just smooth out the ceiling a bit here. And it'll just give us a little bit of room to fly. And I've blocked off both sides. So hopefully that reduces spawns a little bit. Oh, Alright, so I might just put down one or two more campfires just for that tiny bit of regen. Uh, let's see. And one on this side. And it's go time. Let's do this. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 hello. <laughs> oh. All right, so, yep, yep, okay. It's a cool looking boss. Wow, I love the big red eye, that's awesome. Whoa, 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 you're fast. <laughs> oh. So I made some crystal bullets for my clockwork assault rifle. I thought that might help a bit. All right, this is good, this is good. Ouch, okay, he does a lot of damage. That's kind of scary. Oh. All right, let's just try and keep our distance a bit here. Alright, so he's got a charge attack. Okay, whoa, I don't like that. Uh, we get like a little flesh boost. Um, it's almost like how uh, the, oh, what is it? The um, the nebula armor gets uh, nebulas. Uh, it's very similar to that. I like it, it's cool. Alright, so far so good, guys. This is, uh, it's going alright. He's another boss that spawns minions, but that's okay. Luckily, he shoots very slowly, so that's kind of nice. Alright, the, uh... The crystal bullets seem to be tearing him up, uh, which is nice. Um, Clockwork Star... Whoa, what are they? It's, he gets to spawn... He's like doing Nimbus Clouds. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wow, look how much flesh stuff you get. Oh, it heals you eight hit points every time. That is insane. Wow. All right, we've almost got him, guys. Whoa. Nice. Whoa! What on earth is that? Ah! I've got nowhere to run! No! Oh, this escalated quickly. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, okay. Uh, I think we're seeing his true form now. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, I'm throwing a heal on. Whoa! He went from like 0 to 100 in no time. Alright, we just got to keep it up. Keep dodging. Oh! This is crazy! <laughs> Alright, we got him. We got him. Yes! The world has your world has been sundered with an abundance of lodestone. Cool. Oh, <laughs> what an awesome boss, guys! That is a well-balanced boss. I like it. Ah, oh, high damage, cool attacks, very fun, and a treasure bag. Oh, all right, you ready? Let's open this up and get rid of that imp. <laughs> Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Thermogenic impaler. Oh, oh, it's like a. It's like a swordy spear thing. That's okay. Shame it's not auto swing. What's this? Tome of the Void Gazer's Chariot. Become the harbinger of the world. Oh, it's a mount. Whoa! <laughs> no way! <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, it flies. <laughs> That's cool. So you're like, I feel like you're like a god or something riding around on some chariot. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Wow. Um, it does. I don't think it runs out of flight time. No way. Unlimited flight, guys. It can't hover, though, but that's pretty sweet. And masterful beholder stuff. <gasps> it's a summon. Yes. Oh, guys, we got to replace our imps. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right, where's the impies? 
Okay, let's try this. So we'll use our hive mind and then summon beholders. Oh, look at him. All right, let's find another one. This is cool. All right, we're ready this time. We know what to expect. All right, so I'm just going to clockwork assault rifle. It's the quickest one. Whoa, okay. Is that the beholders doing that? I think so. Wow, this is huge. All right, I wonder what other drops you can get from him. Okay, we're taking him out pretty quickly here. This is good. Oh, I can't believe we got a new summon. That's awesome. All right, let's keep fighting. Uh, and killing him again will get more of that lodestone stuff as well. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Soul of the Void. Oh, that's cool. I think I think this is expert only, this, this second form, which is kind of cool. All right, there we go. We got him. And we got more lodestone. All right, let's open up this treasure bag. See if we get anything different. Three, two, one, boom. <gasps> yes, Arcane Devil's Carapace. Equipable, infused with evil forces beyond your comprehension. Five more life regen, wow. And, oh, this is another one that saves you if you die while you're wearing it. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, so, oh, that's like an Aegis from Dota. That's awesome. Okay, and we just got another Beholder Staff and the Chariot again. Okay, guys, I'm going to grind two more and see if we get anything new. I'll speed this up for you. Excellent. Two more bosses down, and we have two more treasure bags. So let's make our way back to base. Ooh, it's raining at the moment. Uh, we'll open our treasure, and then I think it's time, as I just mentioned in the sped up part, to expand our base a little bit more. So let's open the treasure. Three, two, one, boom! Uh, ooh, that's new. Demon Fire Blast Wand. Oh, that's pretty cool. I assume, yeah, it probably does like AoE damage when it explodes, and boom. Okay, and more of the same. Cool. I think we pretty much got everything. Alright, I'll get some resources, guys, and then let's expand our base some more. This base is getting so huge, I love it! Oh, and so much display room, guys. So there's still heaps of armor sets to go. So I've got plenty of room for those. Lots more weapons on display. All that good stuff. So what I want to do now is we need to do some spelunking, get some more life, and uh, prepare for the first mech boss. And I think uh, a good place to find some lodestone might be down this area here. Uh, because it looks like purity biome. Um, maybe a bit of hello, but we should find some there. So I've got some spelunkers, got some iron skin. I think that's pretty much all we, we should need. I've got bombs. Uh, so we'll make our way there and do a bit of spelunking. I am looking forward to it. And I don't think any of the NPCs have got new stuff just yet. I don't know. It's probably worth a shot. Ooh, you can buy bars. That's handy. I like that. All right, let's make our way to the next area. It's time to go spelunking, and I am excited. So let's make our way down here and see what trouble we can get up to. There's a few crimson altars, uh, which is always fun. Bit of copper. And I'm really glad that you can buy bars, because when we go to make terrarium uh, cores later on, uh, they need all the bars in the game. So, yeah, that'll be really handy. I should have my spelunker on, too, just in case. Now, I don't even know what lodestone looks like. This, this could be it, this darker stuff. I've got no idea. I'm assuming that's it. <gasps> a life crystal too. That's awesome. Is this it? Yes! We found lodestone. Oh, yes. 
beautiful. Oh, a mushroom biome too. Very nice, very nice. Not complaining. So you need four lodestone chunks uh, to make a... Uh, you need four chunks to make a bar of lodestone. I'll get those sapphires too. And then, yeah, I, it, the armor takes like, you know, I think it's about 16 uh, uh, bars a piece roughly. So yeah, we'll need quite a bit of it. But it looks like it's pretty common. Uh, hopefully I didn't kill too many of the, uh, you know, <laughs> too many of the beholders and it's like covering the whole world now. <laughs> it's like lodestone for days. <laughs> oh, love it. And this pickaxe is amazing, this flesh one. It's very useful. And it looks like there's plenty of thorium. Oh yes, our last life crystal. Oh, and a blood moon. It's all happening, people. Wow. Oh, we'll get another one. Oh, well, oh my... Whoa! Are you kidding me? This is where they've all been hiding. Oh, we've like been suffering without max HP and they've been all over here. That is typical. Oh, that's okay. So I've got 102. That's pretty good. Uh, we probably need a little bit more. So yeah, so some of these other armors like the White Knight set and yes, I get the reference. Um, oh, Valadium. I didn't think I got Valadium. I thought I only got Lodestone. Oh. That's kind of cool. So it's not like normal Terraria where your world gets locked to one or the other. Is that... Oh, that's another life crystal. Wow. Okay, we found even more Valadium. I wonder which armor is the strongest out of the Lodestone and Valadium. If you've played this mod, can you guys leave a comment and sort of say, you know, what the stats are, like what's good about them? I'm really interested to find out. A uh, special thank you also for today's Easter egg shoutouts. We had Hunters Hunter Roblox who asked for a Serena the Summoner to be hidden. Uh, we also had Mr. Fishy who asked for a Skeletron head. And I'll give you a clue, he likes inventory bars. Uh, so there you go. Uh, make sure you take a second to vote, guys. It only takes about five seconds to click your choice. Our uh, link's in the description, the guide's here as well. Thanks as always, guys. Smash that like button if you're enjoying this series and you've been amazing with your support. Consider subscribing, guys. We've got Terraria Otherworld and Terraria 1.3.1 coming out soon. Uh, and I'll be covering a lot of it. So if you like my style, uh, consider joining our channel. And uh, here's the most important part, as always. Oh, this mount is huge. <laughs> here's the most important part, as always. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya. No! Oh, why did I go down? Why did I leave the box? Life was good. <laughs> I could have just killed the boss and lived like a king. Oh, guys. It's getting low. It's getting low, but it is shooting like a crazy bee. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, get out. Lorenzo. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want you to get out of my secret base. <laughs> oh, bunny! <laughs> no! <laughs>